Good afternoon and a warm welcome to everyone. On the occasion of Silver Jubilee celebration of the institute, the Department of Electrical Engineering along with Alumni Association has organized a series of coffee and conversation with alumnus. Today, this is the second talk in the series with Mr. Alok Kumar Gautam. I am delighted to tell you all that he has been selected in the Indian Army as Lieutenant by achieving all india rank 12 in the ssp exam he has made all our all of us very much proud along with the ssb preparations he has worked as test analyst in alliance technology pune he has also many achievements under itmp australia and itmp africa he has been certified under <coughs> tricentis and microsoft he completed his electrical engineering from our very own college and was joint sports secretary at department of electrical engineering during which he conducted and managed various sports events now i would request uh, dr hod ma'am to felicitate mr ashok Samruti Sangule to carry forward the conversation. Good afternoon, sir. Can you please briefly tell us about your journey till today? Okay, so before starting, so I would like to thank you everyone for inviting me. So about my journey, so as you all know, so I have been selected for Indian Army and secured all India rank 12. Well. Am I audible till then? So, uh, so this was about my achievement, and then. If I talk about my journey, so I have uh, done my schooling from Kendra Vidyalaya in Pune, and I have completed my graduation from this college itself in 2019. And after that, I took a one-year gap for preparation for SSB, but then I realized that it was taking too much time, so I joined the Alliance Technology Company, and there I am serving as a senior test analyst. Then uh, after that, with the work that I am doing, so with the same time, I started preparing for the SSB as well. And in the eleventh attempt, I got selected for the Indian Army. So this was the journey. Thank you so much, sir. I would like to proceed with the questions now. How has academics helped you reach this position? Okay, so based on academic that we uh, that we study here, so that knowledge is definitely important for every every one of us. But apart from that, how we approach the concepts and how we deal with the problems that we face in our daily life, so that helps a lot. because ssb is basically a personality test how we manage the things that we do in a daily uh, daily uh, course so that that matters a lot because whatever the routine that we have whatever the active participation we do in uh, college in at our jobs so that is the most important part so academics as well as the extra curricular activities that we do so that helps a lot in in this phase of uh, preparation thank you so much sir please share your experience during your ssb Okay. So this was uh, my 11th attempt, as I have mentioned. So I got recommended from Bhopal, and it it is basically if you are aware about the SSB process, so it is a five days process. So it is a basically personality test in which uh, they thoroughly check your each and every personality. So there are various kinds of test uh, when you enter the uh, when you enter the SSB center. So they have two tests on day one, OIR test, Officer Intelligence test. So there are two types of test, verbal and non-verbal. So there are basically 50 questions, and you have to attempt the 50 questions in given frame of time. So basically, they give you 17 to 20 minutes, and there is OMR sheet. You have to mark the answers on the OMR sheet, and there are two tests, as I mentioned, verbal and non-verbal. So first, these two tests are conducted, and after that, once you uh, give both the tests, then you have to go for the PPT, PPDT. So picture perception and description test. So basically, what happens is they will give you a picture. and then you have to analyze the picture within 30 seconds whatever the things are going in the picture and you have to write a story so whatever the things are going in that particular picture you have to write a story and then you, uh, in a group of 15 you have to discuss the stories so uh, and you have to get to a conclusion so this is about the day one so in a in day one basically there are around 200 approximately 200 students report and uh, after day one around 30 students get 
selected for round two. So round two is basically four days process in which uh, we have psychology test, uh, GTO, group task test, and then interview. And after all the three are conducted in the three days of time frame, then on the last day we have conference round. So if I talk about the psychology test, so they are basically divided into four parts. So uh, TAT, TAT is basically, uh, we are given 10 pictures similar to what PPDT had. So in 10 pictures we have to write a story. So on, uh, on, on the screen we, there will be appearing a picture and then you have to analyze whatever the things are going in the picture. And then within 4 minutes you have to write a story. And that story should reflect your personality. So whatever the things are going in the picture you have to imagine yourself into that particular picture and, or imagine such, uh, some, uh, some kind of uh, scenarios in which you had been there. And it should depict your personality. So similarly, 10 back to back pictures will be shown and you have to write a story within 4, four uh, minutes of stipulated time. After that there is VAT. So VAT is what association test. So in that particular thing what we have to do, what we are given is, we are shown a word, any kind of word will be there. And then on that particular word, we have to think and write a sentence on that word. So there are some terms and conditions of uh, writing that particular sentence. So like uh, the he, she, it, they, we don't have to use these particular uh, pronouns. And after that, uh, the condition is we don't have to preach anything. We have to write something which is observational. It should also depict our personality as well. So that is the VAT test. And after that, SRT, Situation Reaction Test, in which uh, there will be 60 situations that will be given to us. And then we have to re react according to that. So, uh, and after that, there will be self-description. So in that, uh, there are four to five questions, like what your friends think about you, what your parents think about you, what do you think about yourself, what you want to become. So these are the things that we have to write. And then all the things will be cross-checked. Like whether what whatever you have uh, uh, written in the test and whatever the responses that you have given, so all should reflect your same personality. There should not be any fakeness into that. So this is psychology test, and after this is day two of the testing process, and after that on day three and day four there is GTO ground task and uh, an interview will be conducted. In ground task there are various gr ground activities. So like there is progressive group task. So in progressive group task, what happens is we have to move from one uh, start point to end point given there are few challenges in between and uh, there, there are few lecture topics. On spot one topic will be given to you and you have to speak on that particular topic for three minutes. Then there are group obstacle race. So with a group you have to carry an injured person and cross from one point to another point. So these are the various uh, tasks that are conducted at the uh, group task uh, in, in day three and day four. And on day 3 or day 4, at any point of time, your interv interview will be conducted. So in, in, in interview, basically, they ask you every type of questions. Like it can be anything. So basically, there will be some ice-breaking questions. So we, they will make you comfortable for the very, in the very 2-3 uh, to three minutes. After that, they will throw you some rapid <coughs> questions. So there will be around 10 to 15 questions at, at a time will be thrown to you. And you have to answer all the questions in a sequence and answering them uh, in a very politely manner so that whatever the uh, things that you carry, the whatever who you are should be depicted in the answer. So basically there are few questions, those are with the basic questions like suppose if, for example if I tell you uh, one basic question, so uh, the one question that I had was, so uh, okay gentlemen, so we will have, uh, we, we would like to know about your education background. So from starting from class 10th, we want to uh, we want your uh, percentage in class 10th, 12th college, and which subjects you like in school, college, and uh, in graduation. Apart from this, we would like to know uh, who are your favorite teacher and why not, and who are not, and uh, what qualities you like about them and what not. Apart from this, we would like to know which subjects you like in your school and your college, and uh, we would also like to know about your hobbies, interest, and how you. Uh, how you proceeded with them and why you choose them as well. Apart from this, we would like to know uh, how you spend your time with your friends. So these are the sequence of questions that they will ask and you have to answer them in a go. So in between, if they feel anything that is missing or that, that, that they need to know more, so they will, uh, they will ask you in between and then you have to continue the same. So this is the part of the interview process. After the rapid fire questions, there will be simple one-to-one -one conversations about anything to everything. They can ask you anything. Then after that, there will, there will be some defense related questions that uh, whichever SSB you are appearing for Air Force, Army, Navy. So they will ask you about that. And then there will be a uh, few current affairs questions. And then if they feel anything that is not covered, so they will ask you 
that. And after the interviewing process is done, so on the last day, so there will be conference round. So basically, they will ask you about the SSB, how it was the stay, and other things. And if uh, if they feel, they will ask you other questions as well, like how was the uh, how was your experience in the SSB, or or if if they feel that th there is anything left out, so in the interview process or in the complete five-day process, so they will cover it in the conference round. In conference round, there they are basically 20 officers in, in uniform they are sitting, and you are the center person, and the one president will ask you questions, and then everyone will be judging your personality. So this is the complete SSB experience that I had and what it is in the SSB. Thank you so much for the brief answer, sir. I'm definitely sure that this is going to help for the students who are up applying for SSB. The next question is, please guide our students if they want to join the Defense Forces. What are the basic requirements for it? Okay. So for joining Defense Forces, there are various entries. Okay. So after 12th, there are uh, entries like TES, Technical Entry Scheme for Army and uh, there is National Defense Academy for all the combined uh, forces. So after 12th, like there is age criteria, so first year students can also appear for that particular exam and get into the defense forces. So and after that, uh, there is uh, there are various entries like SSC Tech, uh, T, uh, technical, TGC, Technical Graduate Entry and uh, then there are University Entrance scheme. So based on the uh, cutoff of every branch, so these entries are there and you can directly appear for that SSB. And apart from this also like you can uh, appear for AFCAT exam, CDS exam. So if you crack those exams, so you can also get into the courses. Uh, so this was about the entrance. Apart from this, uh, if, uh, like the preparation stage. So basically it is a personality test. So whatever, do, whatever activities we do in our daily life. So everything is a part of SSB. Like uh, there is a saying that, the saying that SSB is a part of, subset of life. Okay, so whatever we do. So however we try to approach the situation so that it comes under the SSB. So suppose uh, there is exam tomorrow and you are into some situation that you are not able to uh, appear for the exam. So how you will manage that thing? So, so your response will be noted down. And so everything like all these small responses, all these small activities that we do in our daily life that is that helps in our SSB. Apart from this like all the extracurricular activities that we do so that enhances our skills, skills of leadership, skills of management as well. And the participation in sports is obviously a crucial part. So because it uh, boosts your stamina, your uh, self-confidence, and your uh, ability to influence the group. So sports activities and extracurricular activities are definitely a good thing to work upon. So yeah, this, this will be Thank you, sir. What do you think about college after graduation? when you have visited the institute recently? So college after graduation is like something very uh, memorable because uh, I was at the same bench. So I, I used to sit here and uh, so the memories are very great because whatever the knowledge that we are getting, it is the same. But the experience, everyone has very different. So problems that we used to face has, uh, has different levels. So whatever the problems that I had faced in uh, in uh, exams, during exams, so I used to convey it to teachers and they used to guide us a lot. So these are, these are the things that helped me in SSB as well. So when the interviewing officer asked me, so what do teachers think about you? So whatever the things that we had carried with uh, us in, uh, in college days and in school days, so I had conveyed, conveyed it to the same. So they got to know about uh, my relation with the teachers. So those things uh, helped me a lot in, uh, in that process. Thank you so much, sir. I hope everyone has a good relationship with the teachers sure. here. It definitely helps. Uh, how did AISMS IOIT help you prepare for your career? Okay, so basically when I passed out from the college, so initially I was preparing for gate examinations. So that was my plan B. But after passing out from the college, so uh, there were many uh, uh, placements as well. So uh, I started pre uh, preparing for the placements. So in the start, I was feeling nervous as everyone feels in the very start. But later when I started appearing for the interviews, so I got my confidence uh, how to talk with the interviewer, how to, uh, like during the preparation of the interview, I basically gained confidence and then it helped me to, like uh, that's the same thing, the same confidence helped me here as well. Thank you so much. Which of your personal traits and professional skills helped you the most in this journey? So, uh, 
my personal traits are basically my strength that help me in the preparation so basically uh, what uh, my strengths are like i have never give up attitude so if i think that i have to do this so i uh, consistently perform in that particular way apart from this uh, i am very optimistic in nature and uh, i feel like uh, if you if you are very consistent in anything so you will definitely achieve it one day because when i started uh, appearing for the ssb it was in 2019 and this was my 11th attempt so you can see the consistency and the perseverance that i had shown so that that actually helped me apart from this yeah so this these are the main personality traits that i think everyone should have never give up and just continue the way you are thank you sir i think i also think that persistence and consistency are the most important attributes in students the next question is if not defense what was the other career options that you included so basically in the start as i mentioned i was preparing for the gate so earlier i had when i was in college so i thought that gate will be the my second option but later i realized that uh, it was not my cup of tea so i left that and then i started preparing for it so within 3 to 4 months of preparation i got into alliance technology so i am presently working as senior test analyst there so that this will be this would have been my uh, as secondary option so thank you sir we know that you are an active alumnus of aisms department of electrical engineering but we would still like to hear from you so uh, definitely it is a very good thing that i have been invited here and this definitely motivates everyone who is sitting on the next bench but it would be very great if the same person comes here so my as a alumnus uh, i would think that everyone who is uh, struggling in their career career and who are not much aware about that so i think that i should be the person who who guide them so definitely at any point of time if you need any help or any guidance in this particular field or in it as well so i am here uh, always here, here to help you Thank you so much sir. What is your opinion about the pandemic situation in the IT sector and is work from home a hectic thing or a suitable thing? So this is something like uh, how we approach the problems. So pandemic definitely was a very uh, a different thing that uh, hit us but at the same time uh, how we see it is a different uh, perspective as, as well. So for me pandemic during pandemic I got my job and in pandemic uh, I got a lot of time for self preparation and got a lot of time to spend with my family and friends so that was a different thing and at the same time working from home is a good thing because we don't have to go to office but uh, and and we got a lot of time to spend with my family and friends and at the, at the same time the time that we spend on traveling that is cut off and we get a lot of time to spend with our dear ones apart from this uh, like going to office is also a good thing like nowadays we realize that there are there are a lot of events that are conducted at office so we can uh, definitely attend those events and then enhance our personality one thing i can take away is looking at the brighter side always helps everyone so even in the pandemic situation and in every problem how you look at the situation helps thank you so much sir what was your role in extra curricular events like alacrity and memories for the same so alacrity and extra curricular activity activities like so i was very active in all that extra curricular activities since childhood so whether it was in school or college so i was part of sports activities like in conducting chess and athletic events in college as well and i was actively participating in all the activities uh, talking about alacrity uh, so i was not uh, on the other side like not on the management side but i was actively participating in all the different kind of activities and in isa as well Thank you, sir. How was your experience while doing your final year project? So, uh, in final year, we definitely strive for the new projects and new technology that are going on. So, my final year project was based on uh, design and development of cleaner spot building machine. It was uh, sponsored by MNC Automation. So, there I have experienced a lot of things. Like, first of all, I, I like traveling. So, we had to visit it, uh, visit a lot of other companies as well during the initial days when we were searching for the project. And then. Uh, when i used to visit the uh, companies so it, it was the project under the yes yes company which was in pimpri so i got a lot of industry experience and how the things are going uh, things works in the particular industry so those experience helped me uh, to like it was kind of a new exposure that i got 
that how the things uh, actually work there. So that helped me in the in my future career as well. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, what is your opinion about approaching students for counselling? How can we help students to open up to teachers during the counselling? So basically, we uh, as a student we know that how, where we lack. So and in which subjects we lack, and also we have one or two favorite teachers, like whom we can approach without thinking uh, once. So for me, it was the Shelly Ma'am and Sujata Ma'am was there. So whenever I used to face any doubt or anything, so I definitely I used to go with, with to them and clarify my doubts or any personal issues that I have. And uh, apart from this, uh, there are favorite subjects that we have. So uh, those favorite subjects and those teachers are also a kind of guidance to us. So whenever you can, you uh, any anyone faces anything, so they can approach them uh, anytime. Apart from this, uh, from teachers' point of view, like there are various. Uh, soft skill sessions and various uh, like teachers themselves ask the students to approach them at, at, at any point of time. So students should also take the initiative whatever they, they feel that they are facing the issue and they can directly approach the teachers. Thank you sir. How does internship and training experience in the final year help students? Okay, So for me the internship was uh, bank audit. So I had uh, visited almost around 40 to 45 banks and visited there, talked to with various managers and various staffs over there and gained a lot of experience and gained a lot of confidence talking to them. And uh, that was something that I had never done before. Like talking to unknown person gives you a lot of confidence. How you approach them and how you talk to them and how you actually behave with them. So those were the personality traits that inculcated in, into me. And at the same time, whatever the knowledge that we gain here, so we deliver it to them. So basically both our knowledge and the personality and the skill set that we have was delivered. So that particular thing helped me uh, from the internship point of view. Definitely sir. Networking is always going to help students. Thank you so much. Have you undergone any hands-on training or in internship during your graduation which helped in your career majorly? Uh, hands-on training, there was no as such. But yeah, I have done a uh, few training, online trainings uh, after my graduation. Like as I uh, mentioned, as you have mentioned uh, about the Microsoft trainings, and apart from them, the bank audit that was there, so that that can help me a lot. Thank you, sir. So thank you so much for patiently answering all the questions. I would now like to begin with the rapid fire round. I would like to answer the questions uh, rapidly. That is fast. The first question is. Three things that you missed in your college life. Uh, almost I have done everything because I have I was average or average above in uh, academics, and I was actively participating in all the sports activities and extracurricular activities. So I don't think there is anything left behind. So I was active member, an active uh, student. From my life. <laughs> what are the domains and skills that students should explore on their own? So uh, there are a lot of opportunities that the college is offering. So whether it is academically, like their industry visits. So everyone should go there and see how the industry is working. And apart from this, there are various events. So everyone should actively participate in those events because participation itself is give you a, a sense of competition. And when you achieve it, it gives you a sense of uh, self-worth. And apart from this, if you organize any event, so the sense of responsibility also comes into you. So those things are the basic things that, that is required. Definitely sir. The next question is, three subjects that you studied the most? So one of them was control systems. So that was my favorite subject. And apart from that, one was power system and AD. AD, okay. On the scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you about your life right now? Almost like more than 10. <laughs> Good. Because this is something that everyone uh, dreams about it since childhood. But like many of my friends have like thought about it and left it. But the same consistency is required to achieve such a big goal. So once you achieved it, so there is a different kind of excitement and enthusiasm in you. So. Yes, sir, definitely. What was the last book that you read? So uh, I have read Rich, Rich Dad and Poor Dad. Rich Dad and Poor Dad, that's it. What was the first lie you told to your family because of the college? 
because of the college <laughs> so i am kind of very honest person so <laughs> there was no point at which i like that's a good answer <laughs> uh, the next question is money or knowledge what is your priority knowledge what is the most memorable moment in college so there are lot of uh, memorable days so basically i would say uh, the last day of the college because uh, because when we sit together we don't realize that how the co- college is going or we we basically cover the situation like acha kal exam hai perso exam hai fir uh, assignments itne sare likhne pad rahe hain but when you pass out the from, from the college and when it is your last working last day at the college so you realize all the memories so that memories hit you after you pass out the from the college so that was the most memorable day definitely we will also try to enjoy the college as much as possible What comes to your mind when teachers ask about submission and assign assignment? So uh, at that particular time, it feels a little hectic. But yeah, following the deadline is like uh, this is not something that you are going to uh, come across come across here itself. Like when you join any organization, there also you are going to feel the same uh, situation. So make it a habit and just keep on doing the things. How often did you bunk your college? <laughs> so i guess uh, teachers would be the right person to say because i was like around 70 to 80% percent my attendance was there so few classes i used to take what was your favorite place in college uh, place in the sense uh, in classroom or outside classroom <laughs> any other that's so outside like uh, i used to uh, in, i used to be very active in uh, sports activities so i used to enjoy outside more and class Uh, obviously classes the best place thank you so much sir your answers i hope definitely help the students and will definitely encourage them to take the ssb and do and in their future if anyone has any questions they can come up and ask sir rafan sir sir my question is that leaders are made or leaders are born if leaders are made uh, you have Go uh, gone through the SSB process and you had uh, got recommended in 11th attempt. So it had taken a long journey. 11th and 11th attempts are not less attempts. So what were the qualities you think that you have started developing in yourself? Uh, so it helped you go on this long journey. So basically, leaders are made. I would say leaders are born is something very old nowadays because uh, uh, nobody is born with a leadership quality. there are very few who are like who born in the officer family so they kind of uh, experience the same uh, surrounding so that is we can say leaders are born but from from my point of view so leaders are made okay and apart from this so uh, consistency i would suggest that it is a main thing if you if you prepare yourself for uh, anything so one day if you think that okay i have to work on this particular for 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 this particular exam or for uh, for this any uh, set, setting up any goal so it should not happen that the other day, day you are changing your goal so you have to be very consistent and you have to have a never give up attitude so that will take you a long long way so yeah i hope i have answered i'm sure that's our answer to this question any more questions are welcome Good afternoon, sir. From which entity you are recommended for? Sir, so I got recommended from SSC Tech, Short Service Commission, Technical Unit. Thank you. Sir, so did you uh, appear for India exam also after ten years? Yeah, I appeared for India thrice, but uh, I couldn't clear the examination, so I was not eligible for the SSB process. Written or indirect? Uh, written. I didn't clear the written exam, so that's why. Thank you so much, sir. I'm definitely sure that this is going to help every one of us that is present here in our careers, and we are going to take away a lesson today that we should have the never give up attitude and should be consistent and persistent in everything in our life. Thank you, sir. I would now like to invite Ashlyn Joy for the word of thanks.
distinguished guest today, Mr. Adok Kumar Gautam, whose insights, knowledge, and achievements have inspired all of us to keep our josh up and to keep trying new things in life. A special thank you to our Honorable Principal Dr. P. B. Mani sir and Honorable F. O. D. A. D. Shirazar for playing a vital role in making this event possible. Also, I would like to thank Yogi Ma'am, Gardner Ma'am, and Kamre Sir for arranging today's program. Lastly, I would like to thank all the teachers and students for joining today's session. As we conclude this event, let us carry forward the ideas and inspiration gathered here today to create a positive change in our future. Thank you.